NBC Black Hats. I'm Isabella. And I'm Anabi. Today is Friday, November 10th, and it's National, National Civic Pride Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honoring the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, and one indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Congrats to our Lady Cats volleyball team for all district. ABC High School, the 2023 holiday food drive serving our students in need is accepting donations through December 12th for Thanksgiving and Christmas food boxes. To help promote our food drive to the library is offering a canned food item in exchange for a dollar fine. This is for our library book fines only. Items needed include canned goods, microwavable foods, peanut butter, cereal, beans, rice, pasta, etc. Our first playoff game is tomorrow at 6 p.m. taking place at HISD Del Mar Stadium. Our SAT word of the day brought to you by Abbott is candor, meaning frankness, open honesty. The witness answered the lawyer's questions with total candor. Well, that's it for today, Black Hats. Make sure you tune in every day during homeroom. We will see you back tomorrow. Have a thunder Thursday. Or not. Choice is yours. This is Anabi. And I'm Isabella. And don't forget, it's, it's a great, great day to be a black cat. Welcome back, Black Cats, to your BCHS Club Spotlight. Today I'm here with Miss Lopez. Today we're interviewing her about college and career support. What do students come to you for? Everything. Really, it's just to plan the post-secondary um, plans to create them so they can be ready for life after high school graduation. What time during the year can you start applying for colleges? So typically, um, it's your senior year, but I recommend that you start applying once the application opens, which is usually in August. So the sooner the better, so you know if you got accepted and if you need to turn in any other ex additional uh, documents to the college. Is there anything else you do instead of helping with colleges? So I actually help uh, with resumes, looking for job applications, college applications, financial aid, scholarships, Anything that has to do with life after high school. What is FAFSA? FAFSA is the Federal uh, Application for Financial Aid. It is, one, it's required by the state of Texas that every senior completes it, but it also is a way for students to know whether they're going to get any type of additional funding for college, like grant money, which is free, or student loans. How do you apply for FAFSA? FAFSA is a, um, you're going to log in through a computer. It is a computer application, internet application. Um, we can actually help you with that. In January, we're going to have a FAFSA night, so we encourage all the seniors to come, get some assistance from us and from Morton County Junior College, and complete that application so you can be ready for graduation and for college. How and when can you apply for scholarships? Scholarships, um, we already have some out. Um, they're the national ones, but the local ones will start rolling in around January, February. I post them all in Naviance. So you all have access to that. Um, that's typically for seniors. Dual credit will start rolling in around March, and I suggest that you all are always looking on Naviance and see what's new. What are the other options if you don't go f to a four-year college? So there are other options. You can go to a trade school like TSTC. You can go to Wharton and go for an associate's degree, or you can go straight into the workforce. Uh, last year we did BCPC, which is where students looked for a job in kind of one of the chemical plants, and they are full-time um, employees. What tests did you take to go into college? So we do have the TSI, which is a Texas one that you can go for junior college. A lot of four-year colleges are accepting that as well. Um, so you don't have to take the remedial class. And there's also the SAT or the ACT. Um, and if you need a fee waiver, you can come find me. What other options are there if you fill the TSI over and over? And over and over again. So we do have Saturday schools um, where you can come take your TSI. And I know a lot of y'all say y'all study, but you probably don't study. So there's online stuff where you can study. If you take the TSI on a Saturday, you come out and you're like, you know what? I want to take it again. We'll have tutors, and then you just go in and take it again. Don't ever give up, though, on the TSI. I gave up like five times. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lopez, for your time. That's been it for today, Black Cats, and we'll see you on your next BCHS Club Spotlight. Come find me if you need help. <laughs>